All right, today we're going to see how resistant compressed toilet paper is. This is from the hydraulic press channel. This was a full roll of toilet paper, and so was that. It sounds like solid wood. So we've got a few different things we're going to launch at it. Uh, different calibers, 22, 9, 45, or 40? 45. 45, okay. And uh, see what our results are. Yeah, see how many layers it takes to stop a bullet, if it's bulletproof or bullet resistant, <laughs> if you want to get technical. Bulletproof is, if it stops at 22, it's bulletproof to 22, right? There you uh, go. Okay, that's the way I see it. It's like proofing, you know, it's, it's proving that it can stop a bullet, some kind of bullet, you know? Or after Taco Bell, we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> see if it'll stop. All right, here's uh, what we're shooting at today. Compressed toilet paper rolls, there's four of them. Got them backed up by some magazines and a jug of water back here, just in case. <laughs> Depending on, what, on uh, what we're gonna do. We're gonna rinse some 22s first and uh, ignore the television test pattern. <laughs> As for you, focusing you, you the you camera. You guys won't know what this is, so. Okay, whenever you're ready. All right, here we go. The 22 bullet actually looks pretty anemic here, but don't let that fool you, the 22 is a very deadly round. But for the sake of our tests, the 22 is the weakest round here that we're demonstrating. Danny managed to score a nice shot in the meaty part of the toilet paper stack. Let's see what the results are. Hit where, were, where did you have to aim to hit that point? Uh, about an inch above here. Okay. And uh, it looks like it hit a little bit to the right there. Okay. But no exit wound. Okay, so we that's stopped, good. <laughs> we stopped it here somewhere. Let's, let's find out. So it's bulletproof to uh, at least 22. Not between three and four. Not between two and three. Oh, here we go. It stopped it in the first roll. Oh, look at that. Here's, here's our bullet. Right there. It, I, I, if I can aim my camera. And that was just laying in there, huh? It just laying in there. It wiped it clean. Wow. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's what's the next round? Uh, maybe, what do you think? Uh, next step up that we have is, uh, we can go 38 or we can go, well, nine would be smaller, so we can go nine. Yeah, nine, 38's more powerful, right? Well, yeah, nine's sometimes, I've heard it called a mini 38. Okay. It's just, it's basically the same caliber, but shorter. Okay. And let's rotate this around and Okay, now we got nine millimeter, just uh, ball ammo? Ball ammo, uh, Ruger P89. All right, classic. That's a tank. Okay, uh, let's see if Danny can, let's <laughs> see how good his aim is here. Okay, I'm ready. Now this is actually really good information and gives you an idea of the penetrating power of a 9mm. And this will give you a better appreciation of the stopping power of the toilet paper armor. It went right through the center. Through the right through the, through the center. Where there's nothing there, you know, and then it went through the wet magazines. Through the, through the wet magazines. Exited here somewhere, it's kind of mushy. And then the jug we had behind it, gallon jug of water. Went all the way through it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all let's right. see if he can hit it this time. Dang it. Well, yeah, somewhere where we can see it. Now, after seeing what the 9mm bullet will do in what we'll call a control shot, let's see what happens when it strikes our toilet paper armor. Wrong hole, Danny. Wrong hole. Uh, well, let's see where we're at. No pass through. Full ball ammo. When I went through here, it went all the way through the magazines and drained a jug. Um, okay. Three and four, nothing. Uh, two and three, we got a bulge. There we are. On the second one. Caught it in the second row. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I just leave it in there. We'll dig it out later. That was full ball ammo, mind you. Yeah, yeah. Two rolls of toilet paper caught it. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's some tough paper. It very it is. I was like I was thinking we'll get to the nine and the nine will go all the way through it and end of the test, right? Yeah. Okay, let's let's, let's step it up one. What do you want to go next? Uh, what we got? We got thirty-eight, or we want to go to forty-five. Uh, forty-five is supposed to be the most powerful round out there, so so people say. Well, slow and fat gets the job done sometimes. <laughs> Are you using a shotgun to shoot forty-five with? What the heck's going on here? All right, little Tony with the chamber adapter, forty-five ACP. All right, the 45 ACP is a big, fat, heavy round, but it's relatively slow, especially compared to the 9mm or even the 22. But this impact was much more energetic. 45 ACP, full ball ammo. A little bit, man, about 10 o'clock. Yeah, that thing isn't super accurate. 10:30. That, that well, adapter thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, what do we got here? No pass through. Good. Three and four, no pass through. Two and three, no pass through. We caught it in number two. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. Almost popped up top. We're beating the heck out of that, and it's still stopping bullets. Oh, my goodness. Bullets. Ball ammo. Look at the mushrooming. Wow. Ow. Oh. Is it hot? Wait a minute. This is not Edwin. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty warm, but look at that. Man, it's like it hit a, a tree or something. Not bad. I'm impressed. Yeah, the fin the uh, fins know how to do their toilet paper compressing, I tell you. Or they just have really strong toilet paper there. Because they handle tough situations. Okay, what's next? What, what do we have to throw at it next? Let's try 44 Magnum. Oh! Just go, just, just go for the big guns. Yeah. Why not? Okay, let's do yeah, it. Super Red Hawk, 44 Magnum. Okay. Okay, if it'll stop that, I don't know what else we have to throw at it. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. All right, let's see what we can do. With the 44 Magnum, you're combining a heavy weight bullet with high velocity. But this bullet is also a non-jacketed bullet. It's just a cast piece of lead. And finally, it's not a parabellum shaped bullet. It's got a flat nose, also known as a wad cutter. We might have reached our limit here. Yeah, I think we did. You hit it in a solid enough area where it was... Right here. It was not in the core, it was right on the edge of it, but it went up and passed through the main... Oh man, hardly yeah. slowed it down. The 44 Magnum is a beast. Yeah. There you go, Greg. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we're going to have to cut that apart. Yeah, I would just leave it, but it, it did not it did, pass through. Yeah, okay. Jug still intact. Yay! <laughs> Let's see if we can just do a little probe and see if that, how far it is in there without taking it apart. Yeah, because we want to use that again. Sog Flash 2 for those of you who have asked. Oh, yeah. People are always ask, what knife are you using? Wow. It's in there. Okay. Did you feel it? Did you, were you able to fill it in down just, in there? just touched it right there. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we'll dig that out at another date. Since we have these other rolls here. These are flatted the other that's way. That's going to be a little better, easier to shoot because you don't have a hole in the middle. They've been compressed flat. Let's see what a titanium, yeah, a titanium slug will do to those. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Tim Hamilton's titanium slug. Factory. That's uh, a real, that's like a $200 slug, I think he told me. It, it would cost if you 
went to a machine shop and had them fabricate that for you. Oh my. Like $250, it's some crazy amount. Well, we're gonna shoot it through little Tony. Let's see if we can not miss. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, you don't wanna miss. We wanna recover that thing. No, no, uh, don't be nervous. It's, it's not like it's the only one we have or it's $250 slug or nothing like that, Danny. No, uh, no. Well, I'm gonna blame it on a little Tony if I miss. <laughs> but little We're Tony's never enough. failed me. Okay. All right. Woohoo! I think it was loaded really hot too. Yeah, a little bit to the right. I think it went to the left. I think you have it upside down. I think, okay. A little bit to the left then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, there's, uh, look, look what the wad did. Wow. There's the wad. Took out a wad. Full pass through. Did it go through? I believe so. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no! Oh, 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 it caught it. It caught it. <laughs> I was expecting to pass through. I saw it. You know, it looked like it went through. There it is. It went through two layers, caught it in the third. It looked like it blew it right through the back. It did a lot of damage to the back one. It, uh, it puckered it out pretty That was good. only, that was three rolls of toilet paper. Unless it possibly bounced back in. Let me, let me get that slug. Shows you how tough titanium is. It doesn't even look like it was ever shot. Very, very strong material. The titanium stuff, look what the toilet paper cut. Well, yeah, yeah. And there you have it, the titanium 12 gauge slug. One of the few slugs that we've shot that, as long as you don't hit like a steel target with it, you could actually reload it and use it over and over again. We've shot this one like three times, believe it or not. Uh, he just, mills, he just, he just contacted me and said, hey, I want to send you guys these pens. And he didn't ask us to promote his business or anything like that, you know. I... Penworks, P-E-N-W-E-R-K-S dot com. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, there you go. It, here, pick up the pen and kind of show it a little bit. Oh yeah. It's nice, it's made out of a 30-06. Thirty out six Springfield, good old American flag. Make a, a really nice gift for somebody, and, and he said he'll, he'll. If I don't know how you'll do it, but when you buy it, it's mentioned you saw it on a Tal Flater Mouse video, and he'll give you five dollars off. There you go. It's all handmade. Yeah. High quality. He's one of our Patreons. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But thank you, Lyle. Appreciate it very much. I want to thank you for watching this video. These days, it's lucky that you even find our videos on YouTube anymore. Our subscribers are constantly telling us every single day that they haven't seen any of our videos in their subscription feed for months now. Now, just this month, our views have dropped another 40 or 50 percent. So we're just hanging by a thread still. Uh, but we want to thank our Patreon supporters for, you know, believing in us and watching our videos and supporting us. We couldn't do this without you guys. Thank you very much.